Hi, I am Claire. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to be doing a cave home in The Sims 4. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's a little bit of an unusual house. Well, the entire month of my YouTube channel has been unusual houses. Or I've tried to make them unusual houses. And so, this was kind of the end to, of the month. And so, I wanted to go out with a little bit of a bigger unusual house and so I decided to size up a whole bunch of rocks in the game and make them around this building so it looks like a cave. There is also a basement that um, helps with a cave feeling for the children that may or may not live in this house. You can decide that who lives in this house but we do end up having to get rid of these stairs but I'll tell you about that in a second. So I wanted there to be art, but I thought this art from p p Cats and Dogs would be funny just because it's like cave art. And so it's like, oh, well, let's just frame it. And so now we are in the kitchen. We are going to be using the snowy escape appliances and countertops. And so try and keep up that stone looking theme and going with this gray and I wanted there to be a lot of space for the family to cook together. This is a family of five and one cat and one dog and so I wanted there to be a lot of space for family cooking time together and so we are just going to be adding these cabinets from the Dream Home Decorator pack. These are the only items I'm pretty sure I use from that pack. So if you don't have the pack, they will just get replaced or disappear. So yeah, it, it will just disappear if you don't have the Dream Home Decorator pack. So we are just going to be adding, I feel like, all of the appliances from for in the game. Like a microwave and dishwasher items I try to add, but I don't always end up adding. And so talking about those stairs that I mentioned earlier that they are not working. I tried to play test it after I was done, trying to get screenshots for the end of the video, and there's a Murphy bed in one of the rooms, and I was trying to put the Murphy bed down, but my sim could not get down the stairs to put the Murphy bed down. And so the stairs end up getting replaced with a ladder. So I didn't really want to have a ladder in this house, but there's a ladder in this house. But that kind of makes sense because I feel like this house would be like hand chiseled. I tried to go for that look. And so st like a ladder would be less strenuous than having like stairs that kind of like wrap around itself. And so now we are on the main floor bedroom which I thought would be the parents bedroom and so I'm using the cats and dogs bed and side tables since I am building in the world of Royalton Bay. I was trying to go for nice furniture since I are in a cave. I wanted to get, go for like nice bedding, nice dressers. I guess the couch on in the basement is like kind of like that uh, made homemade looking couch but I feel like it I uh, still kind of fit that fit the theme I cannot speak and so now we are just going to be adding some pictures I try to keep all of the pictures like the same like length facing the same direction and so now we are on on or in the primary suite and this I thought would be pretty easy to design but then I'm like I want a separate shower and tub and that kind of came up with a problem but it all worked out in the end and so we are just going to be adding the bathroom essentials like a towel and just trying to make this not seem like a cave. I mean, living in a cave sounds cool, but I also wanted it to seem homey in a way. And so I wanted like the wallpaper to be like like chiseled or like stone, but I also wanted there to be like some like white walls so it looks like they painted over the stone. And so now we are just going to be adding some uh, posters to kind of make that window seem not like it's off-centered. And so, now we are just going to be going down in to the basement. I don't usually do basements just because I can't figure out how to like add windows down here. And so I thought this would be make more sense to have a basement in the cave house because you don't really 
need windows and it takes time to chisel it out and so I did also want to add a fireplace because I never add fireplaces and so I end up going with this one with that came with the eco lifestyle one and now I'm just trying to figure out a place for a, something to fill that corner and so now we are just going to be adding in couches like I said it looks homemade and I thought that was good. I kind of feel like this house is like homey, but a little bit eclectic. And so we are just going to be adding some pictures. I wasn't trying exactly sure what pictures to add down here. I kind of wanted to add the picture from vampires or like the wall decal from vampires that looks like, like it's like the wall got punched or it's like kind of falling apart. But since we are building a mountain bay, I didn't want to make sure there was like uh, items for pets so there is room for cat and dog down here i wasn't exactly sure where to put some of the cat items and so you'll see them move around a little bit and so now we're just going to be adding a big fluffy rug into the basement just to make it feel less cold because i feel like a basement that's made out of pure stone would be pretty cold and so now we are in the first bedroom in the basement which is for two twin boys I was imagining but like I said earlier you can have whoever you want live in this house this is who I was imagining and so I wanted to make this seem fun and I want to have this mural of like stars in my opinion to be like oh yeah you don't have a window but you have this cool painted mural of stars well, I mean I still would probably prefer a window but hey look you got star wallpaper so cool for you and so I was just trying to deck this all out with like robot army and like like awards and I was just trying to make this seem really fun I sorry I probably already said that but that's what I was going for and so we are just going to be adding this dresser most of the items in this room if not all the items in this room are from the kids room stuff pack and so I wanted this room to have like a toy chest and like a uh, like boy critter battle station. But now we are going to be going in to the second bathroom in this house. There's only two bedrooms, three baths. Probably should have said that at the beginning of the video. But this is the uh, second bathroom. And I have a tower, a tower, a shower tub combo because I was thinking maybe one of the uh, children just became a or one of the children yeah just became a ch child and they were formerly a toddler and toddler and so that's why there's a shower tub combo and again this is before I had to put a ladder in the house so I'm like oh they can just climb up and down the stairs because toddlers can't climb up ladders and so now we are in the second bedroom I kind of talked over a little bit but I wanted there to be like a space for the sim to like bring friends over and hang out with and so that's why there's a Murphy bed so they can like sit and hang out and play music together and so we are just going to be adding some music posters. I wasn't exactly sure if I wanted to go for the orange or if I wanted to go for the purple. I ended up going for the purple by put an orange poster by the cat because the cat likes the orange album and not the purple album. That's what I'm going for or going with. And so I thought this sim would be more a cat person than a dog person. So that's why there is a cat tree or a bigger cat tree in their room. And so now we are just going to be adding some more posters and we're just going to be making sure I didn't forget everything and I did forget to put a computer into the space and so we're just going to be doing it in the kitchen. I feel like having a computer in the kitchen is not, not that big like, of a shock. I feel like a lot of families do that and so since this is a family home I did want to have like a computer in the kitchen and so we are just going to be adding some bookshelves and if you can't get to that bookshelf there's other bookshelves so was like click on that bookshelf but like go to another bookshelf to get the book you tell them to read and so we are now just going to be doing the outside real quick and then we are going to be going in to screenshots so i wanted there to be like a fun space for these sims to hang out be in the sun not be total cave people 
and so I have monkey bars for the kids, I have a toy bin for the dog, I have planter boxes for everybody, and so we are just going to be adding a grill and a picnic table. I thought this would be a fun place for everybody to hang out, and so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I post new videos every single week, and if you want to play in this house, the information will be down in the description. So I will see you all next week. Bye!